Hello everyone, new week, new you don't know Jack, and this one won't have to be split, thank the maker, because, well, my time restriction, since it's been lifted again, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So let's go, shall we? I said go. Thank you. 30 seconds to places. Ooh, hello, I'm Donnie. What in the sand hill are you doing up at this hour? It's practically the crap of dawn. I guess it's serpendipity that I too am awake then. So crap. since I'm all wide Not even and close to that. you may as We're well tell me how many players away. there are. All alone. <laughs> Exciting. Type in your Forever nomenclature, alone. won't you? No. Really? You have no name? How on Portugal? Let's see. Let's call you Hoss. <laughs> Like a horse. Perfect. Allow me to give you the instructionalizations. You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. There will be a timer counting down, so the more harried your actions, the more money you'll get. <laughs> or squeender. Pull it together, folks. Ten seconds. Catch you on the flap side. Let's have a crash check. Six. Yeah. Five. Go to four, I've heard better three. crashes. W E O B. The asylum. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I have bathed with eight of the nine U.S. Supreme Court justices. Good for you. Will you be my Facebook friend? No. And our wrong answer of the game is oh, sponsored man, be by your Vance Facebook Van Van's Van Love. You can't spell Vance Van Van without excellence. Pick the wrong answer associated I with can. our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> Okie doke, this is really happening. First, don't break my organ. I went to a dueling piano bar recently and was really disappointed in how misleading it was. All they did was play really tired renditions of Elton John and Journey songs. There is no dueling. Suppose I start a dueling piano bar where the performers actually fight each other. If there are two pianos, how many piano hammers could be thrown? 88 hammers, 101 hammers, 124 hammers, or 176 hammers? There's a reason they called the Bill and Dick Tracy 88 keys. There are 88 keys and therefore 88 hammers on a standard piano. So two dueling pianos would have 176 keys. But if you ask me, I prefer piano dueling with chopsticks. Oh, that was the I. Coming up, hell of a game, boys. If idle hands are the devil's playground, which of the following professional teams is the Prince of Darkness most likely rooting for? New Jersey Devils, Chicago Fire, El Paso Diablos, or Miami Heat? Idle hands? Not a clue. And yeah, we'll go with the El Paso Diablos. Actually, AAA baseball is just short of the ninth circle of hell. Oh, that's what they were this? looking for. The Chicago Fire are a major league soccer team. And it doesn't take a devil to know that using your hands in soccer is a big no-no. Unless you're the goalie. Just don't ever go to a game with Satan. He doesn't pay for anything. Here's one for you. How do you say Times New Roman in horse? And it's a this or dat. Oh, good. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a type of font or a breed of horse. If it's a font, press the number one. If it's a breed of horse, press the number two. Each one right gets you uh, a lifetime no supply both. of oats and carrots. Each one wrong gets you sentenced to 300 hours of reading trivia books written in three-point aerial narrow. And don't Ouch. forget to watch the clock. Those thoroughbreds travel fast. Alrighty then, here it comes. Palatino, Palomino, Andalusian, Hackney, American Miniature. That could be either one, really. Madonna, Wingdings. Well now, aren't you a font of knowledge? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, look, you did okay, but you didn't do well enough that you deserve a funnier comment. Aww. By the way, here's a little known fact. If you try to teach a horse to type, it will actually smash the f*** out of your keyboard. Yeah, I know. 
Should we give it Stephanie Meyer's typewriter? Just, just asking. Here's a good one. Getting to third. Who does not have the habit of speaking in the third person? The Hulk, the Dude, the Rock, or the Terminator? And I'm pretty sure the Terminator doesn't speak in third person. The Terminator may not speak well, but he doesn't refer to himself in the third person like those other weirdos. The Cookie would never speak in the third person. Oh, oh, I see what I did there. All right, Cookie out. Where's the bomb girl? Up next, Tuner Casserole. Wherever I go, there always seems to be a We Play Whatever We Want radio station. They're always trying to be edgy and in your face, but it seems like they only want to play Free Falling or that Smash Mouth song from the Shrek soundtrack. Which of these radio stations is located on the highest possible commercial frequency on the FM dial? 105.5 Jerk FM, 107.9 The Fist, 108.1 Booyah FM, or 110.2 The Smack. I've never seen a one mil eight radio station. The FM frequency for commercial radio stations goes all the way up to 107.9. 107.9 The Fist. We rock so hard, you gotta punch us in the face if you want our undivided attention. Let's say so long to round one. And you're doing pretty well, probably because there's no competition. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And lest you forget, big cash prizes can be yours if oh, you find the wrong answer to the game. Okay, how about it? May I introduce... No love. I'll shank you with this protractor. Ow. What's the first rule of thermodynamic fight club? Do not talk about how an object at rest stays at rest. Do not talk about the conservation of energy. Do not talk about particles attracting and repelling. Or do not talk about boiling points of gases. Thermodynamics? That's usually conservation, isn't it? The first law of thermodynamics yeah. says energy can neither be created nor destroyed. <laughs> The twist at the end of Thermodynamic Fight Club is that my science professor has been a figment of my imagination the whole time. Which sucks, because that means I'm not getting any class credit. Question seven. Hey, should pay more attention. Here we have a really modest proposal. If a bad stand-up comedian were to buy an engagement ring made out of the mineral known as fool's gold, what would he say to his prospective bride when dropping to one knee? I'm so happy I could cryolite. You really honk my horn blend. I think you're just pyrite for me. Or, I'm the manganite of your dreams. If yeah, pyrite is fool's gold. The mineral pyrite is also known by its common name, fool's gold. <laughs> But any gold you give to a woman in hopes of marrying her is fool's gold, my friend. Take it from me, a lonely, aging game show host with a pretty halfway decent life most of the time. Poor didn't chicken is picking out a mate. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue. I guess I'll marry eight. I am forever This alone, one's known all. as Fox News. Stop making sense. Which of the following is a talking head interviewing a talking head? Bill O'Reilly grilling Bono? Anderson Cooper questioning David Byrne? Greta Van Susteren talking with Michael Stipe? Or Wolf Blitzer tossing softballs at Ben Gibbard? What? Talking head interviewing a talking head. Watch your clock! Who was in the talking heads? I don't know. David Byrne was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band, The Talking Heads. Lucky guess. I'd also like to see Glenn Beck interview Oh! Beck. It'd be fun to see oh! him without crazy yeah. the other. There was the wrong answer, too. Next up, ah. Sunny D plus average in science. Oh, come Suppose on. you're on the sun and you start walking on a ray of sunshine. How many times will you be able to sing the song Walking on Sunshine before you reach Earth? Two, 200, 2,000, or 2 million? Walking on a ray of sunshine? It doesn't take that long for light to travel, so... It takes just over eight minutes for sunlight to reach Earth. And like many songs, that one is just under four minutes long. So with the little extra walking you do, you'd arrive in about two songs' time. That is, unless you catch a shortcut on a rainbow. Hold me now. 
Should have gone with Rainbow Bright there. Why not try? Still no demon. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses indoors. Suppose artist MC Escher had a weekend job as a DJ. If he named himself after one of his famous lithographs, what might he go by? MC Appleface, MC Dripping Clock, MC Drawing Hands, or MC Wizard Pose? Didn't he have drawing hands? Drawing hands yeah. where one hand is drawing the other is one of Escher's many space-bending lithographs. Escher would be a great DJ. All he'd need would be two turntables and a microphone. No, wait, one turntable playing itself for the hands, and he could draw two microphones with the other hand that's drawing the other, um, with a pencil. No need to convolute that. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. 4,000 if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose 4,000. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Losers. Check out these losers and see if you can be My a winner. Be the Sal, the Confederacy. Call it. War of the Worlds. The humans was not. The humans won. Rocky. Rocky was a loser in Rocky. Go figure. Get butt beat by Apollo Creed. Yeah, we all know McCain lost in 08. I don't know. Probably that Justin guy. No. Yeah, the Washington Generals are the eternal losers against the Globetrotters. Aesop's race. Come on, here. I've never watched a full season of American Idol. I wouldn't know. There you have it! What the what? You actually did pretty well. Damn it, I've written down all these great insults and now I can't read any of them. Not this one about how you probably smell like farts, or this one where I talk about how you did really great but I say it super sarcastically. You did really great! <laughs> oh, that's a classic. Can't do this one about how you're almost as dumb as our intern Tom. I can't do this one where I list all the people in the world that are smarter than you, and then actually list every person in the world. <laughs> that would have taken a few days, but it would have been worth it. <sighs> Never do this well again. <laughs> Good game, everyone. Donnie, what's next? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceeding? Okay, I will jump into the proceedings, but only long enough to actually get the wrong answer to the game. Which I know exactly where it is after school. Uh, I can't believe I missed that. Ah, dang it. Okay. Anyway, here is the wrong answer to the game. In question 8. Blood and chicken is picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Try this on for size. Fox News, stop making sense. Which of the following is a talking head interviewing a talking head? Bill O'Reilly grilling Bono? Anderson Cooper questioning David Byrne? Greta Van Susteren talking with Michael Stipe? Or Wolf Blitzer tossing softballs at Ben Gibbard? Here's where the money is. David Byrne was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band, The Talking Heads. I'd also like to see Glenn Beck interview Beck. It'd be fun to see who could out-crazy the other. Now that would be a member of R.E.M. being interviewed by Greta Van. But you know what would be even Greta? If you won a new van. Yes, you've won a pre-airbrushed van from Vance Van Van's Van Lot. When you think vans, think Vance Van Van. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Wow, 
Oh, and now that that embarrassment is over with, way. it's time to end oh, the episode for me. When for you, you get to watch commercials, or rather listen to them. However that works. So I will see you like guys next hoodie. time. You get it? Bye, folks. Pack Sun? Oh, where's there a Pack Sun? I don't know. My mom drove me. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. <laughs>